Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi, with Shoto here, about to give you the daily vlog for Wednesday, August 5th. Now, you guys will notice that there's been a lack of actual videos on the channel, and part of that is due to still recovering from the hard drive recovery and getting everything back and situated, as I still have to fix some icons. And one of the things I also want to get involved with is my Elgato Stream Deck, which I've had for a couple of years and really haven't seen the point of using. And part of the problem was I'd have to keep disconnecting USB ports from the front. I finally fixed that by using a USB-C hub in the back of my computer, and it doesn't make that annoying beeping noise like it did on my laptop. So we actually found a solution and added more ports into my computer by using a USB-C dongle that I was currently not using on my laptop. So with that said, I want to try and use Elgato Stream Deck. That way I can streamline my overlays a little bit better. That way I can transition into stuff. I had some cool backgrounds on my laptop because I did use Stream Deck on there for a little bit, but unfortunately I stopped using it. I would love to kind of incorporate chat into the intro and a stream starting soon with the intro video that I usually use as the fly is trying to eat at me. And I was a sleepyhead today. I ended up sleeping until about 12.45 this afternoon. Shows that my body was not getting good sleep, but I finally got a good night of sleep. I think I slept about nine hours today, even though I still feel tired. And just to let everybody know, we are still playing Injustice 1 today. That is the current plan. I might start to stream a little bit earlier than 6 o'clock because I have been playing Destiny 2 with Nappa. And based on the viewers for that game, it is not worth only streaming on Twitch because I've been pulling in single-digit viewers, which shows that people need to open their mind because what a lot of I play on YouTube, a lot of people don't like on Twitch, it seems like, outside of maybe Injustice and Marvel Contest of Champions. So we're going to resume streaming on YouTube, not just Twitch, because the views have not been that spectacular. I also found out with my Sony camera... I need to use a dummy battery, so I ordered one, and the reason for that is so I can use it without the camera overheating because of the battery. If you guys watched my stream last night, you'll have seen that I had to turn my camera off a couple times, and it's not because my battery was dead, far from the case, it's because the camera overheated. I don't know if it's because I was running at 4K 30 frames a second, but I heard that a dummy battery fixes this because it'll trick the camera into having a battery, but because it's plastic, it'll never overheat and it'll never shut the camera off. And the battery is usually why a lot of devices overheat, so you have to have some sort of thermal copper plating or something like that to keep the battery cool. Samsung unpacked their Galaxy Note 20 and their Samsung Galaxy Tab S7, Tab S7 Plus. Both are beautiful devices currently out of my price range. If anybody's looking to get me a birthday gift, I will take either one of those, preferably in black. Unless you're feeling generous and want to get me a, a Note 20 Ultra in green. That would be sweet. But I unfortunately cannot afford any of those devices. And I have an iPad Pro that works really well. I have a phone that works really well. And I just bought this camera a few weeks ago with my tax money. You guys have also said that you guys would rather see me complete the challenge versus actually running Survivor or even running my Android account. You guys just want me to play the challenge. I don't know if you guys are just looking forward to the commentary put in that, but as you guys know, I don't do the commentary like I used to because it kills my voice. What you guys don't understand is that when I do a challenge video for an hour and use max commentary, it kills my voice. Imagine doing it for three, four hours. I used to have to have a 64 ounce bottle of orange juice just to do four hour challenge commentaries talking all the time. And when I'm only getting about 50, 60 viewers on that, sometimes even 40s if I go late at night, I don't feel the need to actually do that. When I was getting thousands upon thousands of viewers and like 200 viewers on streams, I would do that. So if you guys want to see full commentary on my streams, you need to break 100 viewers. And then I'll actually consider doing that again. I'm not going to kill my voice to no audience. If you guys want that type of commentary starting next week, Show up to the streams. Show me that you actually want this because 60 viewers, even 40 viewers, shows that you really don't want this that much. Especially when the overall viewers is about 1,400 to 2,000. A fraction of what I used to get making Injustice content. So it ain't worth going through the extra effort if people are not going to show up. 
And just as a reminder, Friday's daily vlog will be at Rob Russell's house. Saturday's daily vlog will be at Beth's house. We're gonna have both of them on for the daily vlog. And these daily vlogs are not going away. If you don't like what I'm posting, I urge you guys all to unsub. I'm gonna continue doing these. But as I said, starting next week, I wanna to try to get more actual content onto the channel. That could mean getting rid of the day streams completely because if I'm gonna be putting content up, I need time to actually put up the content rather than stream all day. I'm still working on balancing things out, but if I'm playing Destiny 2 with Mike at like 7, playing Diablo with Vince at 11, who's supposed to be coming back today, he's going to test out his internet with Discord and Diablo. We'll see how things go tonight, because I'm sure he's been missing playing it. And you'll notice that because I'm playing games with Vince, and he hasn't been around because of his internet, I haven't been playing Diablo. I've been playing other things. A lot of the problem that a lot of people don't seem to understand is that when I'm playing certain games, it inconveniences me from doing anything mobile. So like Injustice 2 Arena gets cock-blocked by Destiny. Injustice 2 Arena gets cock-blocked by Diablo. I still have not heard back from Nebulek, unfortunately. I would definitely like to do something with you. And just as a reminder, if you have a Twitch Prime sub, I will gladly take it off your hands because it's a free 250 in my pocket. I would love to get more subs to get more emotes on Twitch. But I think starting today, we're going to resume streaming on YouTube because the views on Twitch have not been that great. And that doesn't mean Destiny views are going to be that great on YouTube, but it doesn't warrant spreading out the streams. I don't think there's a big difference, and I think that it's actually turning some people away because I've noticed the numbers, even for Injustice 2, haven't been that you know much different. So I think we're going to go back to streaming on YouTube and Twitch and see how that goes. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you later tonight for Injustice.